Hi everyone, this is Migs from Snakes and Ball PH and today we're back in Bonifacio Global City but this time we will be going to Nike Park and picking up the Kobe 6 Pro Pro Grinch colorway. I'm really excited to get my pair later because I personally have never owned a pair of Grinch Kobe 6s but I do have an original pair of Kobe 6s so I can definitely compare that in a future video. So please let me know if you want a comparison between the Kobe 6 Pro Pro and the original Kobe 6. It also is quite a rainy day here in Manila so that kind of sucks. I hope I don't get the box wet when I go back to the car but I guess that's life you know mother nature doesn't really care about my Kobe 6 Pro Throw so hopefully the box doesn't get too wet and I will be picking them up and I think Nike has a policy on in-store videoing so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to give you guys any clips from inside but I will get back to you guys later from here in the car so see you then Hi everyone, so we are back. I wasn't really able to get any footage from the Nike store because they have a policy against, you know, vlogging inside the store, which I don't really understand because we're technically promoting their store. But you know, those are their rules, so we can't really do anything about that. But at least we got the shoes, they're in the paper bag at the back. And it was still raining, but it wasn't raining as hard as a while ago. So I do think the box is nice and dry. And a funny story before I show you guys the shoes, I actually fit them on in store. And there were so many people lined up to claim their pairs. And I guess some of them, or a good number of them, were resellers. Because it was the claiming of the size 10 pairs, and there were other people there that clearly weren't a size 10 so i'm just guessing that they got the shoes just to sell them but anyway what happened is that i fit it in store and all of the people were like oh, and losing their minds and it was just like come on guys shouldn't shoes be fitted and worn like i'm not so into the whole culture of you know don't crease your shoes keep them minty fresh and don't use them because after all they are still shoes yes they're also pieces of art because like the kobe 6 grinch is definitely a good looking shoe but i'm going to wear them and i'm actually also gonna play in them because they are basketball shoes after all but anyway that was kind of funny that i fit it in store just to kind of spite the resellers and make them go but yeah, we will take a look at the shoes, so hang on a minute. So here you have the Kobe 6 Pro Pro in the Grinch colorway, and it comes in your standard Kobe box. This is pretty much the same box we also saw on the Kobe 5s. Then I also already took a peek at these, and man, do they look really good. I also fit the left pair in store and looked at the mirror and walked around a bit, and it also just looks really fresh on foot and is super comfortable as well. And if you are wondering, the Kobe 6 Pro Pro fits true to size. I went with my standard size 10, and upon fitting it in store, it fit pretty one-to-one, -one, which is how I like my basketball shoes to fit and now time to take these out for you guys to see so opening up the box plain paper Woo! here you have it guys i was able to cop the kobe 6 pro throw grinch it's just such a pretty shoe and such a classic shoe and it's also definitely one of the best shoes ever rocked on christmas day you have those signature snake scales on the upper to protect the micro mesh underneath you have that nike torch tongue that i really like a new and improved cushion setup and a traction pattern that from my personal experience is definitely one that works really well there are quite a few subtle differences between the kobe 6 pro Pro and the original kobe 6 but i will talk about that in a future video where i compare the pro Pro with the original 
Kobe 6. The biggest difference, however, is the cushion because you do have a full-length cushion midsole on the Kobe 6 Pro Throw with a large volume zoom turbo unit here in the forefoot. The original Kobe 6 came with a Phylon midsole, a small zoom unit or as they used to call it, a small met bag here in this area where the ball of your foot would strike and a zoom unit in the heel. When I tried walking around in store, it was super comfortable. You could feel the cushion compress right away and the zoom turbo felt nice and fluid and bouncy as well. I will be doing a more detailed review on these and a performance review as well, so please stay tuned for those. For the aesthetics of the shoe, it's just a shoe that for me looks really good wherever you see it, whether you see it on TV, in pictures online, or in person. The Grinch Kobe 6 is definitely just a super fire shoe. You have all of those different shades of green, you have some that are lighter and more on the neon side, and some like here on the midsole that's a little bit more subdued. You have those black swooshes on the lateral and medial side that I've always thought were really nice touches. And for some more additional pop of color, you have that Kobe logo on the top of the tongue and that other Kobe logo here at the heel of the shoe that are both in a vibrant red. You also have neon laces here on the shoe, but it does come with an extra pair of laces which are attached to the right shoe. And for my personal preference, I think I will be swapping to these red laces because I feel like it gives the shoe additional pop and makes it more Christmassy. You also have Kobe signature in that same red at the back. And it's just such a clean looking shoe like from the moment I laid my eyes on it in store, I was just like, I'm keeping this for a very long time and I'm playing basketball in these. And it's a shoe that to a certain extent is pretty much a grail for me because the Kobe 6 Grinch as well as some LeBron Christmas colorways were really the shoes that made Christmas kicks a thing. Now every time that there's an NBA Christmas game, all of the players are bringing out all of their best stuff. Like for this past Christmas Day slate of games, you had Curry wearing the Curry 8s which were in red. You had Anthony Davis rocking the Kobe 6 Grinch. And you also had LeBron wearing a Christmas colorway of the LeBron 18. I do feel like the Kobe 6 Grinch had a major hand in, you know, really hyping up Christmas Day games and making both basketball heads as well as sneaker heads excited for the NBA Christmas games. So there you have it guys, that was just my quick vlog on picking up the Kobe 6 Pro Throw in the Grinch colorway. If you liked the video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. Then if you have any comments, questions, or any suggestions for future videos, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. I will be making a more detailed review on these as well as a performance review. So definitely please stay tuned for that. Then if you haven't already yet, please make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon for notifications. It would help us out a lot here at Sneaks and Ball PH.